HIV transmission is on the rise. That's pretty huge, pretty scary. Overdoses and overdose deaths have increased as well. It's one of our more needy zip codes. 5% of our population base live in Shelby Park neighborhood. And we looked at that before we came here. Two of the key factors on why we are looking to expand and grow uh, and have moved to this location. Welcome the new harm reduction support services hub in Shelby Park. I love the work that we do here. We have clients from all parts of Kentucky and Indiana. They really need someone who is non-judgmental. Right now we're seeing between 1,500 to 3,000 um, unique participants a month. The need for counseling and, and for ancillary services has greatly grown and the space we were in was just not conducive to the workload capacity that, that we were needing to meet. So the needs are far outside of the box anything we've ever perceived, so our solutions have to be on par with that as well. It's different. I really like it. The space is huge. We have 3,400 contiguous square feet. We can operate our services. This is a short 30. It's a little bit bigger gauge. Staple syringe exchange services and, and harm reduction services. We're giving them safe use supplies so that they're not getting infections, so they're not spreading disease. It's just safer for the community as a whole expand to counseling services in the back. One in five people that go to syringe exchange services get into treatment, and we would love to be a part of that. Um, even if the treatment is just coming and seeing us and you know reducing harm more by coming to counseling, by using safer, you know maybe using less. We have private rooms for HIV and Hep C testing, and we have a private boardroom space that's gonna be converted into a lab and physician's room for lab work, wound care, and HIV and Hep C treatment that our partners will be operating in. We're just here to help them to get, you know, in a better place than where they are. We get to know them and that's why they come in once a week, once every 10 days. And I said, your head looks swollen. And she said, well, I've got a headache, but I don't know how that. I said, would you do me a favor? Can, can I touch it? And it felt hot like an abscess. So I said, would you please get to the ER for me today? And she promised. Didn't see her for two weeks. She comes in grabs me, her head was shaved. She went into surgery and they went four inches down to get the abscess and the doctor said, why did you come today? And she said, my counselor made me. And he said, Would you tell her that they saved your life. They trust us and they feel safe showing us some really sad things. We're here. You're welcome, honey. Some of the folks that come in are homeless or houseless. Um, they have no support, they have no foundation. If we could be that for them, then we're here for that as well. Uh, about to do some camp outreach. We go out with Feed Louisville a couple times a week. And we go all over the city. Such a high need for mobile services. Feed Louisville feeds them, so um, we offer, you know, HIV and hep C testing and hand out, you know, safer use supplies try to make it as accessible and as close to coming to them as we can. It's been a very humbling and eye-opening experience. I'm most passionate about this work because it's the least of us. The people that are stigmatized and pushed down and ignored by segments of society, um, they're people who you know, have had hard times and had struggles that have put them in the position they're in. And I hope that we can expand that because we did find a lot more positives when we started going out and finding these groups. And if we can catch it earlier, then we can keep more and more people from getting these diseases.